Infinity Ward, Infinity Ward, Infinity Ward. You fucked up. No, no, not completely. There's good, there's bad, and there's ugly. And the truth is somewhere in between all of that. I don't know if you've gotten an opportunity to play it yet, but you're completely entitled to your own opinion. But if you're on the edge, hopefully this video will help in some way, shape, or form. Oh, so where, where should we start? So first off, I'm posting this before the PC beta. I got my hands on a PS5 and I played it on the PS5. For a console Call of Duty, this felt incredible. I was extremely impressed by how well it ran on the PS5 and having an FOV slider on console was incredible. Let's just get right into the time to kill because I think that's the first thing on the list and without a doubt, in my opinion, the biggest issue with the game. Right now, the time to kill is fast. Like, really fast. Like, Usain Bolt face. Now, this does a couple things that makes the game play a little weird. So, first of all, it promotes camping and just pre-aiming and holding angles. I don't really care how good you are, but if you go flying around a corner and you're doing your little bunny hop if the other person's pre-aiming and they have half decent shots you're probably going to lose that gunfight so in my opinion that time to kill needs to get increased drastically also you shouldn't be able to kill three full health enemies with five bullets from an ak7 for you Now, I will say I am confident this is one of the few things that they probably will fix. It's a lied canceling. Everybody's favorite topic. My entire social media feed and TikTok page was filled with people posting videos of how to slide cancel in Modern Warfare 2. Jump, put double tax sprint, aim assist, put mobility mounting on this and do that. Can we get a grip? There is two options here. You either take out slide canceling completely for when the full game comes out so there's no workarounds, or you just bring back the same slide cancel for modern warfare 2019 either one i don't want to be breaking a controller every two weeks because i'm hitting a 10 button combo to slide cancel now they did release something already post beta sentiment around the removal of slide canceling remains positive aka they want to keep it out we are aware of the workaround and are contemplating how to handle it for weekend two of the beta additionally we have some other slide changes for launch which will make this movement feel a bit more fluid and snappy i have no fucking clue what that means so by the looks of it they don't even really know what they're gonna do with the whole thing Thing, but I wouldn't be surprised either way. The mini map. For 10 plus years, the mini map was structured in a way where if you didn't use a silenced weapon and you shot, you showed up on the mini map. For some reason, they have now decided that that's not a good feature for the game. AKA, this makes the game more camper friendly. And I don't understand it. Not gonna try to understand it. They already put out a tweet saying that red dots negatively affect some players. So they're basically not gonna make the change back. We're not winning there. Their reasoning for all of this was that UAVs would be more rewarding. But now what's the point of using a silencer? I don't know. On a positive note, let's talk about gunplay. The gunplay is smooth, and in my opinion, I loved every bit of it. I felt like I was moving at a pretty good pace around the map. Even without a slide cancel, the jumps and bunny hops feel really intuitive. There was a nice little MP5 workaround during the beta where you could unlock the MP5. That gun shreds. There's more recoil in this game. And some people might not like that, but it is a good thing for Call of Duty. In Vanguard and many other CODs, there's a lot of guns that literally have zero recoil. That that means little Timmy can just pick this thing up and shoot straight. Now everybody has to learn a little bit and in turn this creates a nice little skill gap in Call of Duty. Now while we're talking about guns, I do actually like the new gunsmith. It's a little complicated and the UI is a little scattered, but we have to remember this is a two year game. There's a lot of customization and the use of receivers and being able to unlock different iterations of a weapon and already have attachments unlocked for it. Music to my ears. I just hope they implement this in a way where maybe in the future Future when DLC weapons come out, it's like a DLC receiver. So you can just buy the receiver and slap on the attachments immediately. And I don't feel like I have to go play public matches for six hours to unlock the new attachments. A couple negatives, the shotguns are really OP and the one shot distance is a little questionable. Also, I don't think I can show it, but footage of the bolt action sniper rifle got leaked on Twitter. Go look it up, but it looks beautiful. Now the perks in this game are very weird. I honestly played probably 20 hours 
of the beta and I barely even touched the perk system. I did not look at the perks. I just played. The main thing here is that Dead Silence isn't one. I really think this is an issue, but they've once again already came out and said they will not be making Dead Silence a perk. It will stay a field upgrade. One little change though from what Dead Silence was now versus what it was in MW 2019 is that now you actually pull out a remote to like call in your Dead Silence. So you can't just like be running into a building, pop Deddy and keep all your momentum. You actually have to stop, put your gun away, pop Deddy, and then keep going on with your gunfight. Infinity Ward, I'm talking to you right now. Why did you bring back Last Stand? Fuck you, Last Stand. Nobody in their right mind wanted this perk back in the Call of Duty franchise. It ruins sniper clips, it ruins triple kills, and frankly, it is just the least satisfying thing to play again. Oh, and you can actually revive yourself in Last Stand now. They upgraded it. Yeah, I just frankly can't believe that they even brought this back. Being that it's a perk, it's probably not going anywhere, but holy fuck. Okay, so this wasn't intentional, but the next couple things on my list are all negative, so buckle your seatbelts, but they are important. Important. The visibility sucks. On the Mercado map or, or the market map on BDOM, you literally can't see people in shadows. The character like colorways blend in a lot. And when you're shooting weapons in this game that don't have a red dot sight on it, there is so much muzzle flash. It is incredibly easy to lose enemies if they start running left or right. Lucky for me, I use aim assist, but I think PC players are really gonna struggle with this and it's gonna be really hard to track people. So they basically need to remove that whole muzzle flash thing immediately. I also might be butchering this, but there is no tack mask in this game and flashbangs and stuns are incredibly powerful. Like I'm talking, you're playing in the middle of the night with your lights off and you could illuminate a whole in community with how much the flashbangs hold on to that bright, bright light. Next up on the trash list, reload canceling. They removed it. You can't YY to cancel your reload anymore. If you YY, once you return back from no longer YYing, it forces you to finish the reload animation. Another instance of who the f asked for this. Now, third person mode is back, but this is one of the few things that is a huge W. This game mode is actually fun. You can switch between shoulders. The animations are really clean. And when you move from third person to ADS, it's incredibly smooth. Now on the topic of POV and third person and first person, for some reason, they added in this weird GoPro cam when you're spectating people. Now I have a feeling some people are going to think this is really dope and some people are gonna think it's really shit. I'm gonna be leaning towards the shit. I don't wanna watch a GoPro X Games film while I'm spectating a Call of Duty match. Now it's different and that's where I think some people are gonna think it's cool and it's tactical and it's realistic and it's a very funky camera that's new and exciting. Now probably the most important thing out of all of this are the maps. I think if you asked any major Call of Duty pro or content creator what's the most important thing when it comes to a game, it is the maps. Now I am happy to say that for me, I enjoyed them for the most part. I think they're aesthetically beautiful. The game looks fantastic. For the most part, they're kind of three lanes. I think with some time to kill fixes, some of the maps will play a little bit differently, but for the most part, the four beta maps that we got were pretty solid. I think public matches is going to be really fun in this game. I'm just excited to see what the rest of the map pool looks like. Weird side note, I don't know if we're ever going to get that Grand Prix map because apparently there's like a lawsuit or something going on over it. Activision and Call of Duty literally deleted all tweets that mention the map at all. I just really hope they stick to just three lane maps. I don't know why it ever goes outside of that box, but it's proven to work. If it's not broke, please, for the love of God, don't fix it. I do think it's good to see that they're at least giving feedback. Although they're saying no to all the requested changes, at least they're communicating a little bit. So one can only hope that they keep that up throughout the year. With this being a two-year game cycle, I do think that this is probably one of the most important Call of Duties that have ever released. They have a lot of time to fix things, but I hope they don't treat it that way. I don't know if you were just interested to see what people are saying about it, but if this video video helped you at all make a decision one way or the other. We are on the road to 10k right now. This is my first long form video, so it would mean a huge deal to me if you did hit that subscriber button. Comment down below what you're most looking forward to out of MW2 or maybe what your biggest complaint is. And I have to say thank you for all the love that you've been showing on all the shorts lately because it means the world to me. We also might be making a switch from Twitch to YouTube live streaming, so you might see something soon. I love you guys and let's hope for a good year or two years.